what's going on peoples we're back for another review for you today we are taking a look at enigma from evc this one is a 70 30 vgpg blend it comes in 120 ml short fill bottles i am vaping this one today in zero milligram so if you want to get this liquid in your life then this is the bottle you are looking for so right let's carry on with the review the setup I am using for the review today is the TM24 Pro sat atop the Tesla Invader 2.3. I've got some Fuse Claptons in here coming in at 0 0.12 ohms. So let's have a couple of toots and I'll tell you what I get from the inhale. What? What? Wow. So straight away, I'm being hit with a bubblegum flavor. There's a sweetness there, like a candy sweetness, but it's not super, super sweet. Um, there's also, um, you've got your bubblegum flavor. There's, it tastes almost like there's a blue raspberry there on the inhale as well. Sure, that's a blue raspberry. There's a little slight fizziness to this as well. Um, it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. So good, though. So, so good. Wow. That is so good. It is so good. It reminds me of those pink and blue um, fizzy bubblegum bottles that you could get from like pick and mix stores and all that sort of jazz. Um, it just reminds me of that. It's definitely nostalgia in a bottle. It's throwing me back to the past. Oh my god, the flavour's so good. This is so, so good. So I'm dripping a bit more on here. Um, while I'm doing this, I just want to... Um, just want to recap, if you do vape your liquids with nicotine in them, um, if you're using the Nick Shot system, dump your Nick Shots in there and um, give it a good shake and leave leave it to settle. Uh, make sure it's full of bubbles um, and leave it settle for a little bit for the nicotine to sort of infuse itself into the liquid. So, right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go through the exhale and I'll tell you what I get from there. Oh. That is that 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 is literally like candy in a bottle. That really is. Um but it's sort of like your gelatin based um sweets. You can almost chew on this liquid as you're vaping it. Chew <laughs> Oh, yes! Yummy! Right, okay, that's enough of that. Let's, let's try and pick out some of these flavours, because as I'm exhaling this, um, the flavour sort of changes a little bit. Not massively, but it does change, and I want to elaborate on that for just a minute. So, on the exhale, my taste buds are going wild right now. They're like, what is going on? Oh. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so on the exhale, I'm picking up a, f um, a few fruit flavours here. So it sort of transforms after a little while. Um, so I'm just going to have a couple of toots and I'll tell you what I think I can pick up from this, uh, from this flavour. So I'm sure there, there's that blue raspberry, you know, that bubblegum, you know, sort of floating around in the background. It sort of dials down a little bit, but I'm sure 
that I can pick out either a, a, gr a dark grape or a black currant. It's either a dark grape or a black currant. I am sure of it. I am. I am sure. And there's something else there as well. There's definitely something else there. I might be wrong, but I want to say there's an apple. I'm sure there's a very slight hint of apple there. Because um, it's not like... I really hope I'm right in saying this, but to me, it tastes like there's an apple there, but the way it's been done, um, it's like a sweet apple. It's not like your sharp, bitter apple. Um, I'm sure there is like a sweet apple there, um, which adds to the sweetness, the candiness, the tartiness that that is within this flavour. I might be totally wrong. <laughs> I probably am. But that is just what it tastes like to me on the exhale. That is amazing. If I'm right in those flavours, then he has been very, very crafty in putting them in there. But I could see the reasons why. And there's a... There's like a... Um, you know, your candy sweetness there. Um, but like I said, it's kind of got a silkiness to it as well. So... There's something in this liquid that leaves like a nice... Uh, mouth feel like a silkiness in the mouth I want to know what that is but I'll it's too hard to pick out he's been very crafty with this one very very crafty mm, I'm on to you I think I know what you've done but I'm not sure <laughs> but yeah that is such a good liquid So, all I'm going to say is go out and buy it. Like, seriously, go out and buy it. And no, this is not a paid review. Um, these are my honest opinions, as always, you guys. So that is my review for Enigma from Empire Vape Co. Or EVC, whichever one you want to go for. Um, that is my review done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Smash that thumbs up button, drop some comments down below, and if you have stumbled across my channel on the off chance, don't forget to subscribe <clears throat> and hit that ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling 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 notification bell so you will be updated on when I put a new video up on the channel. So, obviously, I can't drop links um, down in the description anymore because um, the YouTube community guidelines... Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Chris from Empire Vape Co. And he will tell you a little hint of where you can pick this liquid up from. So, Chris, take it away, dude. You know where to go. It's like this name. You just type this name in and then you go to this thing on the internet and then all of a sudden you can get one. So, right. Anyway, cheers, Chris. Um, I just want to say a massive shout out to Chris. Um, Empire Vape Co for sending this one out for the purpose of review um, obviously I can't put the links in like I said but Chris um, took care of that so yes thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you on the next one cheers peoples